Hey everyone, Chad here with Team Meat in the Freezer, continuing on with my How to Choose a Bow series. So today, I got part five for you, how to choose an arrow. Pretty important part of it. So if you haven't gone back and watched part one through part four, I've talked about how to pick your bow, so I talked about some strings and cables, and talked about an arrow rest. So now you really can't go too far into the setup, except for like the sight and the stabilizers, but we'll talk about that here later on, without getting an arrow. So here, these are just some arrows I had in the corner over here. I mean, I have more than one of them. It's arrows I've had over the years. Some are hunting arrows, some are tournament arrows, etc. So anyways, how do you choose an arrow? So this is the one that I went with for this bow and this setup for this year. This is made by Gold Tip. This is the Kinetic Chaos is the name of the arrow. So just to put into retrospect for you, if you're shopping for some arrows, we've got a Lancaster Archery catalog here. And I marked it out earlier, just so you can know, out of this whole catalog, this whole section right here, it's all different arrows. So it can be kind of overwhelming when you're looking at all these different arrows and which one do I choose. And it, yeah, I'm with you. It can be a little overwhelming. Now I'm not saying that Gold Tip is the best brand out there. I'm not saying that. I have some Victory arrows over here. I have some Eastern arrows over here. Um, I just choose Gold Tip. Uh, been real good to me for about the last 10 years longer than that I've been shooting gold tip and you know when you start with a manufacturing company they don't give you a reason to not like them you know I kind of I kind of stay with them so we're going to talk about hunt arrows so hunt arrows they make micro diameter ones and then they make like a normal 246 diameter one and this kinetic chaos is kind of in the middle uh, big thing that you want to pay attention to when you're choosing your arrow is how much they weigh. So you may think, why does that matter? Well, the big thing in ethically harvesting game is this thing called kinetic energy. If you haven't heard of it before, it's, it's a formula. It's kinetic energy equals one-half mv squared. M being, m being mass of the arrow, and v being the velocity of the arrow, which is speed. So if you have access to a chronograph, uh, you know you can kind of figure out the kinetic energy, and you can play with that formula and see, you know, where where it goes. Obviously, the faster the arrow, the more kinetic energy it's going to have, and also the heavier the arrow, the more kinetic energy it's going to have. But you do sacrifice some speed when you start getting into heavier weights of arrows. Yeah, it's a lot taken. I know, but here we go. So this fall, um, I've got a bear hunt planned up in Nova Scotia, and I went with a little heavier arrow uh, than I have been shooting in the previous years, uh, just for whitetails. Um, this arrow is going to weigh out at about 500, a little under 500, like 470 something. I mean, it. You can go on Gold Tip and do the whole calculator thing. I'll tell you really, really close. But uh, until I get some fletchings and everything on this thing and put on the grain scale. Um, I won't know for sure. I do know Sean at Dominion Outdoors told me that he shot this bow at 20 inches at like 63 pounds with the, this arrow is called Bear Shaft arrow. I don't have fletchings on it yet. Um, and it was 275 uh, for speed. So this arrow is going to hit really hard. Uh, it's a heavy arrow. I'm um, going to have a lot of kinetic energy behind it. And it's going to go through just about anything I want it to go through. So that's the weight of the arrow. Next thing you have is the spine of the arrow. So spine by me, I mean how stiff the arrow is. So this one's spine in a 340. Now each manufacturer has a different way of naming their spines, shall we say. You know, like you have the 100, 200, 300 series, 4 or 5, etc, etc, etc. Obviously the more poundage you have, the longer draw length the stiffer, arrow, stiffer of an arrow you're going to need 
to have it tune right and to shoot good for you. Now, don't get overwhelmed. If you go on pretty much every bow company's website, they have a spine chart. And it gets down to what knock you have, what grain tips you have, fletching size, fletching weight, draw length, everything like or speed of your draw length of the arrow, all that different stuff. Go with that, go with what's recommended, and you will be just fine. Now I will say this, if you're right on the edge, it's better to go with a stiffer spine arrow than a weaker spined arrow because a stiffer spined arrow is going to shoot a little better for you than a weaker spined arrow. I just know this from playing with bows and arrows for 30 some years. So we talked about some brand names, we talked about paying attention to how much they weigh, we talked about spine. Now also most manufacturers in every different variety of arrow they make, um, they're going to have a different, couple different straightness options for you. Now straightness, I mean by, you know, they're going to advertise it as thousand, or one thousandth per inch, three thousandths, five thousandths, six thousandths, um, stuff like that. And that, what that means is how straight the arrow is. So obviously you don't want crooked arrows, right? They don't shoot straight. But I will tell you this, and so this is the go of the blue label series they call it, and this is a thousand, one thousand straightness. It's the straightest you can buy. You're gonna pay some more money for a straighter arrow. It's just the way it is. Now I'm not saying you have to get these. Uh, I I just choose to get them. If you want to get the five thousand series, they'll shoot just fine for you, and. Unless you're a very, very, very accomplished archer and are shooting at long ranges, you won't notice the difference significantly. But if you can afford the straighter one, the more straight ones, go ahead and get them. You know, I like to put every advantage in my court and on my side that I can. So if it means I gotta save up a little extra money, you know, the extra thirty, forty dollars to get the higher tolerance, higher straightness arrow. I'm going to do that. So what else? There's, you know, knock selection goes with arrows. That's not as picky, shall we say. Uh, you know, I, this is just what the gold tip comes with. comes with the unibushing bushing with, I think this is the GTO knock, I think they call it. Uh, I've shot these knocks before. They shoot fine. If you get into a bunch of target shooting or something like that, you know, you can explore different knock options. Now while we're on the subject of knocks real quick, you this is almost too early in the series to mention this, but I'm gonna mention it. When you're building your arrow, you if you if you this is for people that shoot lighted knocks. You may want to pay attention to how you're gonna closely match that lighted knock to your regular practice arrow knock and bushing as possible. Now I've already kind of mapped it out. And I know that like, with this bushing and this knock, and uh, I like nocturnal lighted knocks with a knock for this arrow, they're going to be within like two grains of each other. Now why is that important? Because if you have a split, say you're practicing with these arrows, with this regular knock set up in here, and you put your lighted knocks in there, and you have like a ten grain difference between the two, because lighted knocks are kind of heavy, because they got batteries in them, you're going to have some issues, you know, especially past like 30 yards. You're going to have some difference in your lighted knocks versus your practice knocks. So, something real quick on knocks. If you're going to shoot lighted knocks, practice with them. Most good ones, you can shoot them and they have a little switch in there, you turn them back off. And there you go. So I could talk for a lot more about knocks, but I'm not going to. Because we're here to say how to choose your arrow. So just a quick recap. Talk a little bit about manufacturing companies. We talked about the different series that they have. We talked about the straightnesses they have. And then we talked about uh, the spines they have. It goes into the series they have too. Each series is going to have their own wide variety of spines to accommodate most archers. Buy what you can afford. Go with a, a reputable company, shall we say. 
if you go into a shop and you're looking online, you know, everything has reviews on it these days, and you find some out of the wall aero company that you've never heard of, none of your buddies have ever heard of, or Facebook's never heard of, you probably shouldn't be shooting those arrows. Because they may, not saying they're not, they're saying they're going to be bad, but it's probably a new company or somebody that maybe hasn't been doing it and hasn't been in the industry a while, and they might have some problems. Just off the top of my head, some companies that I know have made very quality arrows. Gold Tip, Easton, Carbon Express, and Black Eagle. Um, those are the main ones out there. I may be missing one, uh, but those are the main ones out there. So have fun in your arrow selection. You know, pick some people's brains. If you're going into a shop, you know, talk to that guy. See what he thinks. Do a little research and have fun out there. We will get more into building arrows, if that's what you choose to do. Now, if you don't want to build your own arrows, that's fine. You can buy them from the manufacturer, fletched. They'll shoot just fine. But if you want to get a little more technical with it, stay tuned for a further episode on how to build your arrows. Because I have to finish building all these arrows and setting up the rest of this bow before I can take it to the range to shoot, which I want to get to very shortly here. So hey, thanks for watching. Get yourself into the outdoors. Take a kid with you. Take a disabled vet with you. Take anyone with you. Just get in the outdoors. And please, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the little bell down there so that you know when we post new videos. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us along. God bless and stay safe.